Today, we're staying at Martin Dyes Jr. State Park Walnut Ridge Unit. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Touring and Trails. Trails. All right, got all checked in. Site 554. Yeah, you heard it, 554. 54. This place is freaking huge. Uh, this is for you guys out there. Um, when you go in to check into these little headquarters, do yourself a favor, make your wife or significant other stay in the vehicle. No! Because all they'll do is want to spend money. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, we made it to site 554, Martin Dyes Junior State Park. So check it out. Um, we are deep in the piney woods of far east Texas. You could say almost to Louisiana. There's enough swamp land around here. We're going to show you some of that, but not a bad looking site. Um, let's see what we got on the other side over here. Yes, we got the quick tent. We got... Um, uh, Dee Dee over there, really in depth in the phone, I think. So, and chips. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you why having a quick tent like this. Here you go. Quick tent. I don't know. It probably just showed backwards since I got this thing spun backwards. Shelter for most people. I kind of like that name. It's a little strange, but I like it. And it was true. Meth rambling. Why is it important to have something like this with your teardrop camper? When you've got a view like this, well, creature comforts, but what about one other thing? Well, this is the other side of the quick tent. You can see the place is big. We're at site number 554. 554, that's a lot of campsite. And I got lucky, I picked a good spot. I could have been right in the middle, but you know, one thing you gotta do is be real, careful about the sites you choose. Search it, look all over the internet and find the one that has the best that works for you. Um, that's fine to have neighbors and all, but if you wanna be antisocial, then set your quick tent up. You can block everybody else away and you can have your site back here, which is very secluded. Let's just walk back here and take a look. See. Now this isn't bad. We have no neighbors back here. Nope, no neighbors. So nice and wooded. Looks like had one fall down, but it's made to burn up. And just like you see everywhere, trash. So we're gonna pick that up and do the right thing. And we'll throw it out the window on the way out of here. <laughs> we will not. No, okay. We'll put it in the proper trash. There's our setup for tonight. Actually, tonight we're just gonna use the gas fire pit. Neighbor's got flames over there, that's fine. And as far as what's on the menu tonight, here it is. Chicken noodle soup. We're gonna fix half of it and save the rest of it for next week. What you got there, girl? Fire. Fire. Yes, so we're going to, we're just going the gas version tonight yeah. rather than the campfire. Because we do that a lot, but it instantly made it warm in here. And then I got this dude up here, the UFO, <laughs> which is blowing all that hot air from the ceiling because heat rises back down to us. And I promise you it's 10 degrees cool, cooler outside than it is in here. See, oh, yeah. nice save there, but. 
But yeah, this is nice. We've got the oldies going in the background because we're chilling to the oldies. We're just having a good old time out here. Get on out and camp. I don't care what you have. You've got the van life. you got the bushwhacker. Or do you have a tent? Don't matter. Get out and have a good time. You have a big RV. If you got a fifth wheel, give us a thumbs up if you have a fifth wheel. I don't because my ranger won't pull it. And if you got a tent tonight, because it's going to get a little cool tonight, bring your heated blanket because you can plug it on into shore power and you're going to be warm. Oh, yeah. Snug you like can. a bug in the rug, baby. I'm going to be. You know what time it is. Well, let's go check out Walnut Sloth Day Use Area. What a name. It's got to be great. We found a really cool day use area with a, a trail that goes over the water. We've got to check this out. This is looking pretty cool. So let's get after it. All right. So, um, check it out check it out check it out this is cool huh yeah you think there's some gators in there i'm certain there's gators in there this is alligators gator breeding ground crocodiles out here. no not crocodiles alligators yeah i like this so that's pretty cool now we got the we got a decision to make the island trail or the wildlife trail i think i'm gonna choose wildlife Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Uh-oh. I see wildlife coming up here. <laughs> this is too cool. Look at this. It's where we just were. Shutter bug in the background. This is beautiful. I love it. And got a little look out here. Looking for some wildlife. A dog, I don't think that counts. Um, yeah, what you think? You like it? Pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? That's cool. All right, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, the wildlife trail, which we'll see if we can find some wildlife, is a must do. Thumbs up trail. Yes. It's just too cool to be out here on this huge wooden deck. You remember. A few weeks back, we were at that one state park where the whole deck fell apart. So no worries about that here. We haven't fallen through or anything. So good and sturdy, old sturdy. Yes. All right, let's see what we got coming up. Piney Woods of East Texas on a mild January day. Ooh, it something. don't get any better than this. Oh, hold on. Rawr. Some kind of animal. Oh, yeah. It's like a bird or something. Must be a bird. Cuckoo bird. A cuckoo bird. No cuckoo bird. Got some more swamp land in the background over there. Pretty cool. They give you maps so you can see where the trails go out to. Of course, I did the right thing and I didn't look at the map, so don't tell them where we're going today. All fun. Hey, that's the right ideal. Get that flat bottom John boat out here. Perfect lake for this. Look at this. Sportsman's Paradise. Martin Dyes Jr. State Park. Come on out, we're waiting for you. Definitely a wetlands area. So we've got the lake, which is pretty good size because it meanders all through this area. But then you have basically swampland all out here. So there's gonna probably be a gator or two somewhere out here. Doubt you'll ever encounter one, but it's a pretty nice place. The place is just big, it's a big state park. So, Buescher was the mini state park. This is the big state park, full scale, 500 sites. 
and being in January this place is pretty darn busy and the good thing though is at night it got very quiet couldn't hear a thing out here which is great so not a bad place uh, if you're gonna do anything with kayaks or boats absolute thumbs up on that uh, family if you're gonna bring a group out here absolutely great bring your bikes because you got so many areas that you can ride your bikes on and just have a great time and all in all just to have a great experience you don't have a camper and you don't want to stay in a tent no problem they got shelter sites here it's got a picnic table and a little privacy area i guess you could put some cots in here three hots in a cot not quite um just bring your cot and bring your three hots not provided by the state but it's nice because you got outdoor picnic table you've got the fire pit and you're right here out here on the lake so bring your fishing pole for sure but look at the lake They got a really nice education center that they have volunteers at the park work and so you bring your kids in here they got all kinds of activities and they can learn about wildlife just a really nice thing to have here because one thing is a big place so you're gonna need to have something to keep all those kids busy if you brought them with you you know or some others might have left them with grandma and grandpa or shoot they might have even dropped them off at the fire station because you gotta do what you gotta do to go camping Well, there it is, folks. Another great weekend at mm -hmm. camp. And this time it was at Martin Dyes Junior State Park. So, um, meet expectations? It was great. What did you like about it? Well, let's see. I liked going across the big bridge. Yeah, the, the nature area. Yes. Uh, yep, the day use area. That yes. was great. Uh -huh. um, you like the noisy truck in the background? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. So what else? Um, I like the just the scenery, the beautiful yeah. pines, the trees. Cool. Um, the uh -huh. weather is wonderful right it now. It was great. So that's all great. The lake's pretty cool. This, this uh -huh. whole area is nice. Um, friendly area. Good, clean park. You know, yeah. The only cons I would get would be, you know, it gets crowded here because it is a big place. Yeah, and it does get crowded. If you're in warmer weather, I bet these mosquitoes would carry you away. But um, it wasn't too bad. You know, we no. got all that water here. They're going to get bad. But um, all in all, great experience. Uh, we do give this one a thumbs up. Oops. Come out and check it out. And we will see you, you down, down the road. road. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. A thumbs up. Folks, you heard it. She's calling us out. So <laughs> give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you much.